All right. Hello, Wana kids. I know this is not how you probably want to see Brother Trevor tonight, but I'm going to do the best I can to have a lesson with you guys. Unfortunately, we weren't able to meet tonight because of all this COVID stuff. Well, not fun. But I want to show you all something really cool, and I want to go over a part of Jesus' story, and we're going to talk about when he was born. So that'll be fun, right? So we're going to be in Matthew 2, and we're going to start in verse 1. And I'm going to read it to you, and I'm going to show you something really cool that has to do with the story. So if y'all have y'all's Bibles next to you, open up to Matthew 2, starting in verse 1. Okay? It's going to be fun. Follow along with Brother Trevor. It says, After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi, wise men, from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. Now, I want you all to pay attention to that because that's going to be the object we're going to talk about today. It says that we saw his star. So think about the star in the sky when it rose and have come to worship him. Now they're talking about Jesus, the Messiah. When, the, when King Herod heard this, he was disturbed. He, he didn't like that. And all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, the smart people, right? <laughs> he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem and Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. So, the prophet in the Old Testament wrote that Jesus was going to be born in Bethlehem in Judea. And they're quoting, and they're saying, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. So there's our star again. We're talking about the star. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over where the place where the child was born. All right, so the star led the Magi, or the wise man, to Jesus, right? So that's what they followed. So I want you to take a look. And I might adjust my camera real quick, but I want you to see this. Okay, it's okay if you don't see me, just as long as you see what we got here. So we got toothpicks and we broke them in half, right? And we put them in the shape of a cross because we all know that Jesus was the Messiah of the world. And he came and died on the cross for us, okay? But I want to show you something. What happens when we put this water down? Let's see what happens. Now watch closely. Watch closely. It takes just a little bit. But do you see what's happening? It's starting to turn into the, to a star, isn't it? Look at that. You see how the edges are coming together? This one's slacking up here, but look, we'll just do this a little bit. It's turning into a star. How cool is that? Now, if you want to try this at home, all you have to have is toothpicks, and you break them in half. Mr. Trevor will show you. You take them, you break them in half, not all the way, but you break them in half, and you're going to put them down, and you're going to make a cross with them. You do that with four toothpicks, and then you just put a little bit of water in it, and you drop that water in the middle, and uh, over time, it will form a star. Okay, I'm going to adjust my camera again. So what we want to learn from this is that the wise men followed a star, and that's how they found Jesus, baby Jesus. And God gave that star to them so that they can bring him gifts. Right? All right. What I want you to do is 
I got, a, I got a few questions for you after this video. We're going to see how smart you are, okay? I want you to tell me the, the first three people. Just say one when you comment on this video. But the first three people to tell me what the wise men brought as gifts for Jesus. The first three people to do that, I'm going to give you a prize out of our Awana store. A 2,000 point prize is what I'm going to give you, okay? So I want you to comment on this video. I want you to tell me that. All right, now, that's only three of you that are going to win that, okay? So I got one more thing I want to ask y'all. And this is going to be an easy one if you follow it along and if you read the story. First person, and it can't be any of y'all that, that win the first three prizes, but the first person to tell me what the king's name was, I'm going to give you a $1,000 prize out of our Alana store. All right, so somebody will win that last one. If you can tell me, if you can tell me what prophet they quoted, and this is in verse six. But you Bethlehem in the land of Judea are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. First person to tell me that will win the highest point total prize that we have in our Alana store, and believe me, it's very cool. Okay, so if you need to rewatch this video, you can, but the first person to tell me those three things, I need three people to tell me what the gifts were. I need uh, somebody to tell me who the king was that they reference in this passage. And then the hardest question of all, I want you to tell me what prophet they're quoting in these verses. Okay, so I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know who's going to win. But we're going we're gonna to get you to do this. And don't forget to try the toothpick trick. Turn the cross into a star. It's really fun. It's really neat. And the more time you give it, I'm going to show you again. The more time you give it, the better it gets. It just continues to make that star. Okay? So look, I know this is only about an eight, nine minute video. But I'm so glad to be able to still give you guys a part of God's word. And to let you know that Jesus is the Savior of the world and that He died for your sins so that you could be saved because He loves you so much that even, even all the mistakes you make, even all the bad decisions that you make, even all the sins that you commit, He overlooked all of that because of the love He had for each one of you. Isn't that an amazing God? It is. All right, so let's pray real quick. And then don't forget, right after this video, first ones to comment to answer those questions, you get a prize, okay? Let's pray. Dear Lord, we pray that you would just help us through this tough time of not being able to gather together in person. Dear Lord, I pray that you would just help these kids read through this story. I pray that you would help them try to answer these questions. And dear Lord, I just thank you so much for all you do for us. Dear Lord, you're such a a blessing to us dear lord your grace is sufficient and we are just so glad that we have a god that loves us enough to give his son his one and only son to die on the cross for our sins for our mistakes for our past bad decisions so dear lord i just pray for these kids i pray that they would stay healthy and safe from this virus and i thank you for all you do for our church and our families it's in jesus christ's name i pray amen all right, bye guys. Thanks for joining us. See ya.